Hi folks, welcome to Barb Makes Things. Today's another Q&A day. Barb Makes Things! Hey Barb, what's your recording setup? I am not Casey Neistat with a wall full of gear. I shoot all of this on a Sony A5000 mirrorless camera. I use that specific camera because I won it in a contest on Instructables and it has thus far done its job pretty well. You don't need a fancy camera to get rolling making videos. Like most people with a phone already have pretty decent recording equipment. The biggest problem using a phone to shoot much video is memory management. For my videos specifically where I capture a couple hours of footage to speed up, Doing that on a phone would be really difficult. For shorter things, it's very doable. I was a sound editor in a past life, so I have some pretty decent audio gear that I can use when I need to capture audio away from the camera. Generally though, I plan most of my on-screen talking shots to be within a couple feet of the camera. The built-in microphone picks things up just fine and I don't need to worry about setting up another piece of gear. Also, there's no mic input on this camera, so it'd have to like sync up video. Filming this way, where I don't have to worry about a separate audio stream, is efficient. And if you're gonna make a video every week like me, efficiency is key. One thing that's really important is camera mounting and placement, and for that, tripods are great. I have a small tripod and a couple larger ones. I use at least one of those in almost every video. I also made an instructable for how to make a stand for your phone camera out of cardboard. And then of course if you're me and you have a spot where you shoot regularly, you build an adjustable camera arm. Light is another important thing. There are really fancy, expensive lighting solutions, but you don't necessarily need them. The key qualities I focus on for my lighting are flexibility, diffusion, and color. I shoot this in front of a window. I either have daylight or overhead lighting as just an overall light source. For more direct lighting, I found these gooseneck desk lamps that have really sturdy bases, translucent lamp shades, and then I put daylight bulbs in them, and they do really well. I have like six of these lamps. You can see them on my desk behind me. The bendy necks mean I can quickly adjust them to get more light in a specific spot, or avoid glare on what I'm building, or of my glasses. They have solid bases, so I can stack them on however many boxes I need to to get the height I want. And daylight bulbs give you a nice light that's not too warm. I'm a fan of warm light as much as the next gal, but not for filming. So that's my recording setup. You can do a lot with improvised solutions. So if you're looking to do video, don't let not having all of the fancy equipment stop you. And let me know about any fun improvised recording tricks you have. I'm rounding in on the final version of the Pentablock and I have ideas for a 3D printed mechanism that lets you play it with buttons. So check in again next week. Thanks for watching. Have a great day. Make sure to take a look at some of my other builds and how to's. There are a lot of them. Don't forget to subscribe and if you click the little bell you'll be notified whenever I upload a new video. If you'd like to get videos a little early and support my channel, you can visit my Patreon page. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.